This video will demonstrate how to create a work order in six. Um, the first thing you're going to do is um, from the A project editor, uh, click the scheduling editor button and that will open up the uh, schedule for that project. Now a work order in six is an organizational tool for tasks. Um, in the grid here on the schedule so far I've got two tasks that are created and um, a work order can't exist without a task because it's really just a name. It's an, it's an organizational tool for not only the grid here, uh, but also for reporting. Um, there's a work order report that will run a report for all of the tasks that are assigned to that work order. So to create a new uh, work order, you can go to the new button here and choose work order. And notice that it will create um, an entity here that says new work order one, and then it will add a task beneath it automatically because again, Without a task, a work order really doesn't exist. And the only thing editable for a work order is the name. Um, so you can change that at any time uh, to reflect all of the work that's going on beneath it. This this could even be used for a general term like roughin, and then all of your roughin tasks uh, could be listed beneath this. So that way you stay organized, and you could, uh, of course, run reports on individual tasks. Uh, they have their own reports, or you could run a report for all of them um, via the work order report. Um, another way that you can add a work order to a job is to select tasks here, like these two, and choose add to work order. And um, there's already a work order on the page here, so I'm just going to select it. And now that's been add. They've uh, these two have been added here beneath this. And you know what? I can get rid of this one that was created automatically, or I could, of course, you know, add something to that. But right now I've got. A work order that uh, just says rough in on it and then there's the two tasks for it so um, if you want to run a report for that you can always just click and there's a work order detail report that will apply whenever you have a work order selected here in the grid and you can choose to run that report if you like and this will show you the tasks that are on this um, particular work order the two that are assigned beneath it as well as the details of those two tasks